Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup Crew Mode Part 65. I'm still in denial that I'm still doing this series, but here we are. So we got Atlanta, Bristol, and Darlington, and really I think Atlanta is really the only part in this series track episode <laughs> that will be an issue. But point standings is rather interesting because Kevin Harvick's leading it, and usually in this game Harvick's not usually the points leader, at least from what I've seen. Though again, it's only been three races, so I'm sure it's going to change, but it's um, rather interesting. But obviously we're at this point in the crew mode where a couple of drivers have retired. Casey Kane is completely gone, even though he's only been around for five seasons in this game. So I don't know why, but Kane is completely gone. <laughs> it's just funny. But anyways, without further, further introduction, we'll get right into qualifying here and try to have a top ten race, I think. And another poll, 29067. I think the second place was it. Oh my god, half a second quicker. Oh my, we're gonna have a good day. <laughs> we may just have a good top 10 run. I'm just being just conservative. I think a top 10 run is a very feasible goal to expect. So here we go. As usual, set up default and all that stuff. Dakota Armstrong is on second place. That's cute. I'm sure he'll fall back. Here we go, 26 laps, and if it, anything uh, Alana has told me at this point, we're going to have a bad start, not lead any laps in the first lap. That doesn't make any sense. I, when have I ever really made sense? It's a good question. But, yeah, we're going to pull back to third, but again, we were surprisingly quicker than the field in qualifying. Like half a second nearly, well, four times. That's still pretty damn good. This thing. Ooh. At this point, this three-star car is uh, has changed the game of sorts. Like, it just rips. And we are... Oh, I think we led that lap. I don't know. It was extremely close. But, finally, we're good. I'm going to try to pull away as long as I don't screw up that corner, which I did. And are we good? Oh, well, yes, we are. All right, now let's pull away. I'll give Kurt Busch a lot of props here. He has been consistently hounding me pretty much since lap three or lap two. And I just keep screwing up the corner, keeps getting the bottom lane on me, but we have straightaway speed and I can't even hold a straight line in the straightaway. That kind of is pretty bad. But again, when we do pit, I'm gonna tighten this thing up because it's very, very, very freaking loose at times. And that's gonna cost us the lead. God damn it. Uh, thank you. Oh, I almost ripped myself. Okay, we're good. Please just just hang on a second, or maybe get the lead back. I don't know. We'll try. We'll try something. All right, all right, Tony, go have fun. Go have fun. What is wrong with me? Okay, this is still pretty good. All things considered, usually I fall back a lot worse, but this is still very solid. We're going to be paying in the next couple laps. I think we can breathe a little bit, even though we're right there with the leaders, but we're, we're good. We're good. It's, it's okay. You know, I don't know how many laps I can keep doing this where Sailor gets to the inside and I barely get a good run off the corner to hold him off because eventually I'm going to wreck myself doing that. I'm going to make, I'm going to turn too much or <laughs> never mind, never mind. I'll just completely screw up the corner and I'll have no chance of even fighting for that position again. So I guess the universe did me a solid there and kind of protected me from potential wrecking. Now, that almost happened there though, so all right, well, we're going to go back to Never have I been more excited to pit until this lap. The car has just gotten so bad. Sorry, Jimmy. All right, 70. Perfect. Right at 70. Damn. Up that wedge. Need to tighten it up. Tire pressure all the way down, and we'll be out the way. That was pretty good. I think a top 10 is very realistic of me to, uh, to get. And that is a 15 flat, and we'll be third out of pit road, which is actually no port. No, Bibble is, is he? No, he's not for position. All right, just take it easy here because the apron is slippery slidey. And no LePage. Okay, we're good. 
All right, it looks like we're gonna be cycling out third possibly, which is not bad. We did that. That is a big net gain for ourselves. All right, so we have a bunch of people leaving pit road. I can't imagine us losing that much ground. I mean, I, I don't know. I just wouldn't see it. So we were about like fifth. Rusty, I guess he was for position. After all. all right, well, oh, Rusty, what are you, what are you doing? <laughs> What's wrong with you? It's it's just Kevin Harvick. You don't have to slow up for him that much. Good God. We lost two, we lost a lot of time. Alright, well, we're gonna have to try to make this up now. Which I think we can, I just don't know if I can get the lead though, that's the only problem. The car is definitely way, way better. But that undercut killed us all, I mean, Kurt Busch was leading at one point, or maybe Tony Stewart. And now Dale Jarrett's leading, so... That was the undercut of the, of the race, I don't know why I burped, but you know what? That's nothing there. Hey, anyway, never mind, Tony Stewart took the lead back. And I just bumped Bobby Labonte for no good reason. But hey, at least we'll get sixth! You know, the outside line doesn't usually work in this game, but I just somehow made it work to get around Jimmy Johnson. That was pretty cool. And we are still closing in on the leaders dramatically of sorts. I and mean, it was about two seconds originally, and now it's only eight tenths, so that's pretty good. Where am I going? I don't know, but it worked. <laughs> and Russell Jackson is in the top five. Damn, good run for him. It won't last for long, though, because I'll take over third. Well, I guess he'll still be in the top five. All right, now let's try to run down Dale Jarrett. Oh my god, this car is just cutting through the field. It's cutting through the corners. I mean, this is just astronomically disgusting. That's a big word. We're going to go for the lead. Just hold the bottom. Oh my god, considering this is a land, usually I don't really do too well. But if you give me a good car, I can do shit. And we just did shit. New leader. I guess let's pull away. So on lap 22, our, rights, our right front got worn. Now lap 23, our entire right side's worn, so... It seems like the tire was about the same as it was during the first half of the race, which means this thing should start getting terrible. A little bit near the end of the race. Again, we did make an, a, wedge, a wedge adjustment, so it should help it out a bit. And it's certainly a lot better in the corners. It's not all over the place, so I think it should be fine. We may start to lose a little bit of ground, but I don't think it's enough to lose the win. Three flags out, and we'll, yeah, we continue to pull away. Our lap times are certainly uh, kind of slowing down. It was like 29.3 last lap, now it's 29.4. But I guess not enough to lose any more time on them, so that's good. And this is Atlanta. Usually we struggle a lot here, but since we got a top 10 at Rockingham, and that already just tells you how much better the car is in terms of performance, which is beautiful. I think a top 10 streak for the whole season is at least a possibility. I don't know, but we'll get the win at freaking Helena. One of the one of the harder tracks too in the game. And Russell Jackson got fourth. That is pretty cool. Okay, for once, we're gonna do a little bit of celebration. I feel like it's warranted with the, with this track because it's just it's just usually not in our cards to do well, but it, we did well. Okay, I don't know. So uh, finishing results or points or whatever. We led 13 laps. Basically half, so I do believe we got the most bonus points. We do. Tony Stewart led eight. And Jarrett led one lap. And uh, Kyle... I'm so sorry. Kurt Busch. Why am I saying Kyle? What's wrong with me? Kurt led three. Sadler led one. I think that is it. Throughout the rest of the field. And it is with, oh my, Ray Parker last. But I think we'll get the points lead back now, so hooray. Oh, come, Jeff Gordon. Who? When did I? All right. I, I don't know what I did to him. Certainly not in that race. I don't know, it may have been, may have been Daytona. Do you know how these drivers are waiting like a week or two weeks after an incident to confront me about it because they're a little bitch. No, I'm not apologizing, Ace. Don't, Jeff Gordon can suck it. Oh, point standings. Um, we should be the points leader now. Harvick, I think, got a top 10. Yeah, so we got it by 39 points. There's our... Jeff Byrne is still fifth. And with that top five from Russell Jackson, he's, uh... Ooh, 18th. Ooh. It's not good, but yeah. Well, we'll get in the qualifying at Darlington and probably get pulled like usual. 
Well, another poll like usual. 28.299. It could have gotten a little bit quicker. Now it's three tenths quicker. All right, not bad. This may be a nomination station race. So I got music on standby just in case. All right, well, here we go. So set up. I got my earbuds in just in case. They're on standby. So set up default like usual. That's it. So um, if we kind of get a kind of a straightaway lead, I'll, you know, or if we get the lead by the straightaway, then I'll just pause the game, put on some music, and I'll just relax because, um, yeah, I mean, I gotta enjoy my time somehow when I play this game. <laughs> Man, I just want to win this damn championship. I've had enough of this stupid, dumb shenanigan shit. And it seems like we're gonna have one of those races. So I'm gonna pause it. Go listen to music now. God damn it. Well, I'll be pitting in like the next two laps, but yeah, we pulled away to like half second and a half. It's starting to pull it back now because I keep screwing up and it does shit like that in the corners. It's just, oh, it just got bad all of a sudden. Well, I'm glad I'm pitting this lap. Obviously going to make some tire adjustments and some wedge as well to tighten this thing up. So 70 and perfect. So yeah, we'll do all that and we should be good now. Some of these cars are going to have an undercut on me, but I don't think it'll hurt us too bad because they might get held up on payroll with a bunch of other cars. But other than that, I'll see what we can do here in this uh, next part of the run. 15-3, 14-9. Good job, pit crew. Here, we'll be out in the way. We'll see how much spots we'll lose here. It looks like we're actually still going to barely cycle out first. Well, damn. I'll take that. I wasn't sure if I would, but well, I'm happy with that. All right, so we're going to retake the lead here, and we're going to pull away from Gore, and we're going to pull away from Stort, and because we did pit a little bit later, we should have a bit more freshier tires compared to everybody else, so we should hold on to this lead a little bit better this time around. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> okay, I just want to show this so people don't think I'm crazy. So the first half of the run, I was about a second and a half ahead of everyone. Now it's 2.3. Your tires are getting worn, so that's very concerning, but yeah. Like, we do good for a very long time, and then just one lap, it just all collapses. It's just, it's just one lap, the car just gives up entirely. Oh my god, the car just gives up. <laughs> it just, it just stopped trying there. Well, it's white flag time, so we'll be good, but yeah, it's, yeah, we're, we're good. I mean, if we lose two seconds in this last lap, I deserve to lose the race. Alright, got through turn three, not too bad. But yeah, as you see, we're starting to really lose time, so I'm glad I pit it when I did. Another win to the season. Pretty much dominate with a little bit of little scary bits here and there, but I'll take it. That was solid. Ray Parker, fourth. Damn. 21 out of the 23 laps we led. The other two were from pit stop cycles, I think, and it was, yeah, from Joe Nemechek, so. Oh my god. Point standings, uh, we should be gaining a lot more after that one because Harvick was nowhere to be found, really. Well, I guess top 10, I think, but we gained points regardless. And Dale Jr. is in top 10 as well as Gordon. Jeff Byrne drops to 7th and Jimmy Johnson 10th. Ray Parker is 14th right next to Barry Barker. That is so... F Why are those two together? That's so... That's going to be confusing. So we got the pole. Just trying to get some little bit of extra, like, laps in. 14-9, that's... Yeah, we got the pole. We're going to probably cross the field here, too. And what's the time difference? Ooh. Eh, three-tenths. Not bad. All right, well, <laughs> this is going to be one of those easy races. As long as lap traffic does not screw me. So, default setup like usual. Uh, the wedge put down to, to zero, just because trying to be consistent with every other default setup. So, I'm sure I'll change that during the race, but, yeah. We just need to have a good start. Have a car length over Scott Riggs, and I think we'll be good. Just got to be careful. And keep the car at the bottom. And are we good? Not quite. Okay, now we're good. All right, see you, field. Good God. Oh, got it. What's wrong with me? Like, I don't need it to try that hard, but I just... I just make myself look like a jackass. Like usual. Like usual, and it's too early to pit, so... God duh. <laughs> Why? God damn, why is it so bad? 
It's so... I usually do well here, but this car is just... It's not liking anything. It's tight, loose, loose, tight. I mean, it's, it's a mess. It's like as if I'm racing at, like... Like, Homestead or something. Well, not... Okay, maybe not to that extreme, but it feels like it's like I'm at Dover. <laughs> How bad it just doesn't like to respond to anything. But then again, it's quick, though, so I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's just stupid. I don't know what's wrong with the thing. It's just so bad. It just, it just like has nothing going for it. It's so fucking stupid too, but it's fast. Like I don't know why it's. Just... Oh my god, this game has produced some of the most wonkiest, dumbest shit since probably NASCAR Heat Three. Probably some. It's on that like plateau tier of just stupid. I like I don't know why it's just it's just too. It's fucking stupid. And the dog's freaking out. I don't, I don't know why. I, I mean I guess I can't talk. Junior, can you fuck off? <laughs> like, I had the inside line, he just keeps chopping me off, keeps chopping me, fuck off, fuck, just leave me alone. I can't wait till I pit. This, this thing's just stupid. But at the same time, it's quick. How can I comprehend that? I don't, I have no idea. It's really, really fucking perplexing. I'm gonna stay off for another lap, just hoping for that weird caution glitch, because it does happen from time to time. So, I'm trying to take it conservatively. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's not going to happen, so I guess I'll pit. Damn. It's so bad. I don't... Just, I got no words to describe it. Oh my god, you see that? Like, what? what is that? Alright, just four tires and fuel. Let's pause it so I can actually put in my adjustments for the love of god. Alright. Up and down. I think that'll be good. All right, we're good. Four tires and fuel, and we'll be out in the way. Why is that one point? Why is the cans at one point five? Why not two? Oh, that's one point five is the max. Why can I not figure shit out? I've had this game for fifteen years, so I should know shit right now. <gasps> I'm running out of breath. Fifteen three. That was another fourteen point nine second stop, and there's a lot of tire smoke. That might be for me still, or caution come out great. Well, there goes our race. Of course. God damn it, Derek Cope just retired. Retire for the love of God. You're so bad. God damn it, man. That's so st oh. I guess we're the leader still, so that's cool. Yeah, wow. Um, that's interesting. Now I just need to get back to the bottom. I didn't even shift into fourth quick enough. I guess Newman's still lapped down, too. Alright, just let him go. Alright. Just, just try not to fuck up anymore. We got by Ricky Rudd and uh, Ryan Newman, so now we're in clear sailing in terms of lap cars and everything, and whoever's in second is getting held up by, I guess, lap cars big time, because we're pulling away. I don't know why the car's still weird. Just, I don't know if I'm just going through the corners way too fast. So we're trying to back them up just a little bit more. I think it's helped, so maybe that was my issue. I was just trying, I was just going way too fast. I don't know. But since I've backed it down just a little bit, it's, it's helped. So I guess that may have been the issue. Well, they got us away flag. And we're still losing a little bit of time to second, but it's nothing too dramatic. It's still acting really stupid. It's still really bizarre how to drive this because sometimes it'll just snap in the corners. Sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll just drift up the track. It's just a hodgepodge. It's it's a it's a it's a like that golden it's like that chocolate egg wonder ball whatever it's called. Ray Parker third I saw. I, it's like that. It just does. I don't know what it's gonna do. But we did lead the most laps, though we did bring our you no know, wreck. Well, Derek Cope wrecked once too. But Ray Barker, third, and Jeff Burton fourth in the top ten. Ryan Reynolds, I guess Dale Reynolds' brother, got top ten, so that's pretty cool. Well, thank God that part's over. That, that was uh, eh, a little bit tougher than I thought, especially Bristol. I don't know what we'll do at Texas. I mean, Vendor 04, usually we do good, but I don't, I don't know. So we'll see. But we continue our top 10 streak, so that's cool. And we won every single race this part. That's even more astronomical. So 185 points. All right. And Ray Parker with his good finish. He moves up to 11th in the standings. Ooh. Can he be in the chase? That would be pretty cool to see a, that five car in the top 10. And also another Hendrick car. Usually because the five car is not good in this game. But 
and you have a fantasy driver in it, and I guess it's uh, pretty good. Alright, well, I guess it's time to wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters, Adele Reynolds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave Fender Champ 15, Alan Gray, Robert Dillon, AskArmorSite.org, and Bailey Carrier for donation again. I can't say enough much. I appreciate you guys each and every single month for your continued support. It just means a lot, and it just goes a long ways with me and everything, so I just want to reiterate how much I appreciate it. It means to me. I'll see you all next part for uh, Texas and then Richmond. No, it's an off week. And Martinsville. All right, well, I will, okay, we're guaranteed to win at Martinsville, so that should be a very easy race. And Talladega should be, again, a very easy race. So the next part should be pretty pretty uh, easy. Will there be a fourth race in it? I don't know. We'll find out if, if it's that disgustingly dominating. <laughs> That's not even a word, but maybe. I don't know. I'll try, because I like to get these videos up to like 20 minutes max, and if it doesn't, I can maybe squeeze it in, but it depends, it depends. But either way, I'll see you all next part, and I'll see you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.